Hello friends, my name is Sunil. Today we will learn how to create the custom transformer. So first of all, to create a custom transform, let's create a mule project. We can say is that cust transformer. Okay, keeping rastering as a side, we will use the default setting. Okay, so first of all, to get the request, we have to use the HTTP element which I have put onto the canvas. Keeping this as a default configuration, you must know about it. So REST configuration is as default and I am using the path as custom. Next element we will use is the variable to set the variable that is being used to transform the message and then we will use the java component which is used to call that custom transform okay so we have to define the class of the type of the class it will return and the transform class which is actually have the business logic to transform the object so for this one we will create first of all a new package let's create a package say custom transform itself okay and then we will create a new class that is student and it will have one variable one field string field name we will use the constructor Initialize it Okay, you can have a getter setter for this method And I can I can also overwrite the two string method where I can return the string what I want is student and that will contain the name to define the data type which data type it will return. so it will have a written class package dot the class name now we have to return down the custom transformer class so we will create a new class that is custom student And this class to be work as a customer transformer, it should extend to which abstract message transformer. Abstract. Message transformer class. So it should implement the transform message message, and this message will contain the complete payload. So in our case, flow variable which we have defined earlier we can get it that is through message dot get property we can get that one so we can define the id and the scope we can define as property store dot invocation over here and now we can return the student object which is being created using this name variable so this custom student i can define over here in the transform so when this object will get created it called this
and this will return the object so we will use object to string to add the string as an output so to save it and let the project run so what we have done is that in the custom transform it get the message do the required transformation on on the top of it and return the object of student class okay till the time server is getting start let's make it this is the path 8081 and the custom is my default path on which it is running okay it's got fail let's see why it got failed okay let's see what is gap in my class everything looks okay so not sure what is the issue with it okay let's try to run it one more time let's see this time it will run or same error will come oh so we have to find it out why this error is coming so it is line number 12 so let's go to the line number 12 variable oh we haven't set the value of this variable so let's set the variable values so we can define go to set variable name in as a name and the value right now we can define as sunil okay we just save it and let's try to so automatically redeploy the project and hopefully this time it should be successfully run yeah so this run this time let's try to call this if we call this man we are getting the student so it transform the object the way we want thanks for watching thank you